What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are checking out the brand new Lowrance HDS Pro. Hopefully you can hear me. It's a little windy out here today, so I apologize for the audio. Hopefully you can hear this. Um, like I said, today we are checking out this guy right here. This is the brand new Lowrance HDS Pro. I got a live next to it, so we're gonna do a little comparison between the two, show you the differences, what makes the Pro so much better, and going with the Pro, we got the brand new Active Imaging HD Transducer. So I'm gonna show you all about that, show you the whole setup, and I will just run through everything about the brand new Lowrance HDS Pro. It's all coming up. All right, so Lowrance just recently released the HDS Pro. I got one of them here along with the HDS Live. So what we're gonna do is turn them both on here at the same time. And uh, one of the big things that they, they claimed about the new HDS Pro was how fast the processor is and how quick it turns on and how fast it goes through memories and processes everything. So we're gonna do a little test here and see which one boots up first and gets ready to roll. Other than that, cosmetically, it's a little bit different. You got a blue button here and a blue 12 down here. See, look, this is already ready to accept and the live is still processing. So it hasn't even booted up yet. And we press the power button first on the live. So like I said, cosmetically, you got a blue button here and a blue 12. And then the back of the Pro has white Lowrance lettering and the live is more of just a, a dark gray. And then the box itself is black versus gray as well. So just a slight cosmetic change, the same gimbal, same power cable, all that kind of stuff. It all uses the same, same box, same shape box, just a little bit different color. All right, so we're ready to accept, accept. Since this is brand new, we're gonna close that. All right, so I've already had this on the water a little bit. I've got some settings dialed in a little bit and I'm gonna run you guys through all those here in a minute. But this is the HDS 12 Pro and I have the active imaging HD transducer hooked up to it back here. So that's this guy right here, tucked down here. And this is the most important piece of the puzzle. You know, the transducer is awesome, but if you don't mount it properly, you're not gonna get a good reading. So this right here is the Bass Fish and Electronics jack plate mount for the brand new transducer this is the only one on the market that i know of right now you know nobody else has a bracket that fits this transducer it's a different bolt pattern and a different shape transducer altogether. so you need a new bracket and bass fishing electronics is the only one on the market right now it's very important how it mounts to the jack plate and lowers it down so you get a super clear reading um, I'm really impressed with this transducer and this mount so far. So we're going to head out on the water and show you some on the water footage of this transducer with the HDS Pro. But that guy right there is super important to this total package right here. You need the Bass Vision Electronics jack plate mount. All right, so let's head out on the water. Hopefully it's not too windy and bumpy out there and we can get a little footage for you guys. But we're going to head out there and... Uh, I'll show you the clarity of this new transducer with that Bass Fishing Electronics mount. I really like it. I am super impressed and I think you guys will be as well. So let's get out there and see what we can come up with. All right, we got our HDS Pro out here. So the first thing that the new transducer allows you to do is higher frequencies. So on your side imaging and your down imaging, you have new options. We have a 455k chirp and a 1075k chirp so that is higher frequencies which in turn is going to give you more detail and better clarity on your units first thing i noticed as soon as i launched the boat is the clarity of the down imaging like look at that the, the all of the interference is gone it's just perfectly black screen very crisp bottom and you can see all of 
those fish that may be down there. So I'm really impressed with the down imaging right off the bat. Now I'm running the down imaging on the 700k chirp. So the down imaging, you have 700k or 1200k chirp. Personally, I really like using the lower frequency for both the down imaging and the side imaging. So I like to run it on the 455k chirp. And then in the contrast here, we're gonna bump this down a few clicks and get this dialed in. I like it right around A4, A5, just depending on the water clarity. But you can see we're in some rock right here. And uh, the clarity on this is absolutely amazing. So we could even bump this out to 120 feet. And you can still see those rocks. You can see the shadows out there. Hopefully there's not a glare. It's kind of hard to see on the GoPro, but you can see those big rocks and the shadows out there. And I'll add a few screenshots here to the screen here in a minute, but you can see groups of fish. So I found some groups of smallmouth out here 100 feet off to the side, and I could see the dots sitting right there on the bottom. Really impressed with, with this HDS Pro, and more specifically that Active Imaging HD transducer. It, uh, it is a definite upgrade and a must-have with that Bass Fishing Electronics jack plate mount. But the clarity is absolutely incredible. You got no interference, and uh, that mount has a lot to do with it, as well as the brand new transducer. But both of those are in stock and available now at BassFishingElectronics.com. I mean, we're scanning 120 feet, and we could go even further if we wanted, but it starts starts blacking out once you get so far. So this is uh, some really good stuff here. I'm trying to block the shadow here so you guys can see this, but this is uh, really impressed with this. Like I said, that, that down imaging, the clarity is incredible. You know, previously it would be all blurred out here and, and you'd still see what you're looking for, but it was not nearly as crisp and clear as it is with this new transducer and mount. All right, guys, well, there it is. There's my initial thoughts and uh, some on the water footage of the HDS Pro and Active Imaging Transducer, Active Imaging HD Transducer. So. Appreciate you guys watching. Do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Drop me down in the comments below. Let me know what you think of the new stuff from Lawrence. I'm gonna head out and uh, see if I can't go catch a few fish now that I'm on the water. So I appreciate you guys watching and uh, we'll see you guys next time.